Okay, so typefaces, scripted typefaces. It's right across the bottom there. Do I have a bigger version of this? Yeah, so it's across there. Let's grab typefaces and stick it up in there. Doesn't look too bad. It yeah, doesn't look too bad. Let's see what I did over here. Okay, I grade it. So then you can see it against black and white. Okay, so move typefaces up there. And once you have that layer selected, you don't have to select all the letters like you do in a Word document. You can just select the layer with the move tool, then use the character panel to format it, to change the way it looks. So now we can change the color. Let's click on color. I know, pretty cryptic thing. So you can do like a middle, middle gray-ish. Or if you want another color, you can do that. You can get crazy. See, now if I move it up, you can still read it because it's a different color. I'm gonna make it a little lighter gray, so you can see it against the black a little bit more. And you can also see it against the white. Then you can do a faux bold here and make it a little fatter. And then make it a color that is um, <clears throat> something that stands out a little bit. I'm like magenta guy this year for some reason. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling the magenta. All right. I'll move it up a little bit. Okay. You guys know what faux bold is? Faux bold? Yep, you're right. It is. It's faux bold. Okay, there's a little T right there that says faux bold. Because if, if your font doesn't have a bold, it'll do a fakey. You know, fakey. Yeah, and this one, <laughs> it's kind of a tiny little thing there. Oh. Oh, that's right. I got to hold shift here. Oops. Okay. Okay, that's a... <laughs> yeah, this... This font doesn't have... Um, England hand doesn't have much of a P on there. All right, we'll go with that. Okay. Tie faces, we'll put it there. Make that a little bit smaller. Yeah, oops. And there we go. Make that a different color. There, is, there we go. Okay, this. I want to be consistent. Either make both of them lowercase or both of them uppercase, whichever. I'm going to go with that. Okay, this is this P is way too short. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the way this looks. So you have an option either way. Maybe I'll sort of line it up. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, okay. Oops. I do the same thing on the other one. I think I forgot an I in there. That's crazy. Okay, now we change that to a nice Pretty color. Oh, pretty. Oh, can't go with that color. It's not, not manly. This isn't pink, this is coral. Okay. Oops, oh, oh, save your work. Okay, just hit Command and Control S, like in uh, Photo P, it saves it there. Over here in Photoshop, Command S, save it. Touch a, oh. All right, so. <laughs> so the media files folder. All right. Okay, now down here we're going to do our, the thing we normally do. We're going to line these up down at the bottom. Then put a couple of examples, three examples, and. We're done, so we'll easily be able to finish this uh, next class. So right now, let me 
do I have? Okay. Down here, and I've got random capitalization going here, so maybe I'll go more classic. So I'll put the capital C and then capitalize the font things here, the family names, the familia. Okay. There we go. So you can line it up. So it's not like if you put the text all the way down on the quarter inch, the flourishes, the bottoms may go off the edge, like the F's and those. So you might move it up a little bit. And then this, we don't want those to cross over each other too much because they'll get crossed with each other. Can be used with serif, sans serif, and display. What you're gonna do is double click on there and make serif typeface, serif typeface. So you can really visually see how it can be used with the others. So you just select the word serif and you can do like Times New Roman or Times or Cambria, the one that looks like Times. Um, that's a real simple serif. Or if you have a generic sans serif, I'm just gonna type in Times here. Times regular, that would be lovely. And now it's much smaller than the serif. So while it's selected, I'll just move that over, just clicking and dragging on the T there. Now it's a little big, so I can make it smaller. All right. Oh. How did I zoom in? Yeah, okay, I'll show you. Okay. Times are regular. Um, if you just go up, like I have the word selected. So if I just go up where the, the font size is, do you guys have character panels? No, no, you don't. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we, we have to download that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Should I put for now? We, we can go grab one. Just go to font. Yeah. Okay, so I have serif, and then just click over the T there. If you don't have the character panel, you just go to window character. And a sans serif like Helvetica or Helvetica Noia or mouse. It's a little small also, so now I'm gonna go over where it says 17 or mine 17. Over the two T's, just click and drag a little bit. Make it visually about the same size. And I hit Command S there. All right, so now you probably don't have a display font, the display typeface on your computer. So what you can do is go to Defont, D-A-F-O-N-T, O-N-T, which is Defont. Okay. And we can just go to Defont Download Fonts. Okay, cookie time, sure, I'll close that. All right, now here, what do they call it? They may be calling it fancy. <laughs> if I won't ever hear a designer calling it fancy, they'll have it called display or uh, some other kind of thing. So you can go in the fancy category and get a fancy font. Okay. Okay. See, there's a whole bunch of script fonts here as well. Okay, all those. So, any of these are display fonts. But maybe I get newspaper cut out white on black. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. So, you just pick one, download that bad boy. New Romantics is cool. But I'll go with this one. Alrighty, double click on that. It'll open up. And it's a, this is a TTF file. It's a true type font file. And I guess probably knew that already. 
freaking true type. So you have to double click to um, install it. So boom, boom, install font. And then you can use it. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to select the display. And many times it's like, oh, what was it called? So what you can do is go over and check your downloads. It was called newspaper cutout. So it's going to be in the end section. OK, I'll just click in here. News, paper cutout, white on black. All right, so there it is. Oh, I had the whole bottom line selected accidentally. So command or control Z and do that. There we go. That'll work better. Now it'll be right here. Make that a little bigger. Okay. So now we have a serif, a sans serif, and a display. It's all part of the visual definition.